Yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be doing gameplay with the new diamond Patrick Ewing. Now Ewing, obviously one of the best centers in 2K history. I'm sorry, not in 2K history, in NBA history. But in 2K, he's typically not one of the best centers in the game. I don't know what his release looks like this year, but on paper, he looks decent. I'm interested to see if Ewing is going to be a better card in 2K this year. And if this diamond Ewing card is worth using in my team. Before we hop to this video, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 3000 subscribe mark on the channel. I'm uploading every single day. Would really appreciate your support if you haven't already if you do subscribe but without further ado let's hop right into it and see what patrick ewing is looking like so ewing is seven foot tall 91 offense 96 defense coming with a 74 driving layup really good post game 70 97 close shot 95 mid-range 75 three-pointer which is definitely greenable 80 driving dunk 90 standing dunk 40 ball handle he's not going to be handling the ball much but we already knew that 88 block uh 93 interior defense stealing perimeter defense aren't great great rebounder 73 speed 73 excel 64 speed of ball is just a little bit slow and then a 69 or a I'm sorry, 79 ladder quickness is solid for a center. Um, standing dunk tendency is a 91, driving dunk tendency is an 80. Defensive tendencies are looking, they're pretty good on the interior. 89 contest, 89 block shot tendency, those are pretty good tendencies. Then you look at his badges, he comes with five hoster, post spin technician, rim protector, post lockdown, worm, and back down punisher as well. 16 golds, fearless finisher, brick wall, drop stepper, put back boss, lob city finisher, box, defensive leader, intimidator, uh, hook specialist, rebound chaser, pogo stick, talus defender, fade ace, pro touch, stream shake, and set shooter, and then catch shoot and chase down ours on bronze now Looking at badges he can get, he can get basically any badge in the game because he is a NBA 75 card, which is definitely a valuable thing for him to have. That means he can get badges like glue hands, a badge like clamps, a badge like interceptor, uh, a badge like bailout, a badge like quick first step, uh, a badge like dead, uh, dead eye or sniper or limitless spot up or bullet passer. He's definitely going to need, I will admit, some of those badges. You're going to have to add five badges to this card for sure if you're going to want to use them. Like you're going to have to use bullet passer, uh, bailout, sniper, um, and then maybe a couple more, whether that's a little spot up or quick for step or interceptor or clamps. There's a few badges that definitely you're gonna wanna to add to this card. The few badges that he's probably gonna wind up being missing even when you do fully badge him out. So probably not the most complete card in the game, but I definitely think he's solid. And let's see what he looks like in freestyle. All right, let's see what Ewing's got. Let's see what his jumper looks like first. Okay, it's, it's slow. It's it's always slow in 2K, and this year is not different. I'm shot too early to start, to, to start off, and um, I think you're going to shoot a lot of early with this because uh, you're definitely going to have to hold it down a lot longer than you would think you would. Now, if you do hold it down, you're going that. See, that one I'm surprised was an early, uh, as was that one, honestly. like it's It seems definitely like it's pretty, pretty slow because I did green one of them, but you got to hold it down a bit. Uh, if you do get the timing down, you're definitely going to green pretty consistently, I think. That's one thing I will say. You can green with anything this year, um, but... But it's definitely not a top jumper for a center. This just, I don't know about this Ewing card. Ewing is never one of those guys in 2K who I'm really excited about. And I just don't think that this year is really going to be much different. Uh, I am starting to get the timing down on the jumper a little bit, but I'm still shooting a lot of slightly early. Definitely going to have to hold it down a bit to get consistent greens with him. And I think it's definitely doable. But the thing is, with a little bit of a slower release like this, you're going to probably struggle in terms of in terms of shooting getting getting their shot off effectively against a good player which is definitely going to be a problem even if you are able to green it consistently in the post he should be great he's got a really tall player build i'm sure he's going to rebound really well and place uh, solidly on the interior which we'll definitely have to see in game but uh, not a guy you're gonna be able to dribble with much and as a shooter he's going to knock down open shots but you, if you're not open like it's gonna definitely be hard to get a shot off with the card so probably not going to be a great pop big we'll definitely have to hop into a game though and see what patrick ewing is capable of Checking out our opponent's squad in this clutch time game. Definitely an easy squad, which is a good thing. He's going to be matched up against Big Z, who's definitely a tall center. But I think Ewing should be able to do his thing. Let's see what this Patrick Ewing card is made of. All right, Ewing wins the tip. Throw it in. Get it to Clay. Run the floor, Ewing. You're faster than Big Z. Get inside of him, pump fake. He jumps. Yes, sir. See if you can get the mash. He does get the mash. He's definitely going to be a nice matching center. That's the first thing I will say. I think just because of how big his player build is in terms of his, like, he's just got a wide, tall player build. So I think that that's going to help him out in terms of his ability to, uh, in terms of his ability to mash, and I think he's going to be good on the interior, on both ends of the court. He's going to be good on the offensive interior and on the defensive interior. My thing is, is can he do anything else at a high level? And that is going to be the question with this Ewing card. Cut him off to the baseline. Good D. I don't know why y'all are switching. Good defense. Yeah, this is box. But I'll admit, our opponent's team is really, really bad. That's just one. the first thing I'm going to point out about this game. Um... So it's definitely going to be a little bit tough for him to get consistent stops in any way. But Ewing slipped to the rim. Throw it. Throw it in there. He's going to get an easy match. We'll take it. That's an easy 
easy four points to start off the game. We will take that any day of the week. Um, let's see if we can get a nice stop and get Ewing involved potentially in the pick and pop on the next possession. Good defense. Yes, sir. Good D. He's got nothing. Good defense. Yeah, you're not. He's trying to score with Lou Dort on Clay. I don't think so. Ruby Lou Dort is not going to be getting buckets on Clay. No, sir. Good board, Ewing. Push in transition. How quick is he in transition? Uh, he's actually not as slow as I thought he was going to be. He's not fast, but he's not super slow. And he goes in and powers down a dunk. Yes, sir. We'll take that. Ewing running the floor coast to coast and throws down the dunk. That's honestly a solid start. I did not expect him to be able to push the floor quite that effectively. It's not a fast car, but he's not incredibly slow either. This is, I mean, I'll admit my opponent is terrible. So a terrible team, not a good player. That's kind of tough for him, but we get an open three. Ewing for three and he greens. It. Yes, sir. I'm voice crack. Goodness gracious. But um, nice play by Patrick Ewing getting that three. He's up to what? Nine points to start off the game. That's a phenomenal start. We get a backcourt as well. I don't even know how that was a backcourt, but Ewing is doing his thing right now. Uh, and that's what I said. If he gets open, he's going to be able to green consistently. And I think uh, this a game like this against a team like this is definitely going to make him look good. I don't think he's as good as he's going to look in this type of gameplay against a bad team as he does miss that open three. Um, but I think he'll be able to shoot when he's a wide open effectively. It's just going to be hard to get him wide open against a good player. Um, good defense. Good deep. And he, he, this guy just has nothing on the offensive end of the court. Nothing at all. Like, I kind of feel bad for my opponent because he doesn't have a team that is even capable of competing at any level with the team that I have on the court. So definitely tough for him. But you know what? Ewing, get right back into it. See if we get the pick and pop going. I don't know what he's doing defensively, but we're going to hit the pop again. Get in the post. Get in the post. Post spin me, Hoff post spin technician, go up strong, and he gets stripped. That's tough, man. Uh, ball stripper is just a good badge this year to pre prevent against the uh, the post game. We're going to get right back into the post if we can, though. I'm actually going to throw it into Ewing and uh, see if we can shoot like a post fade or a post hook or something because that's not a shot that I've shot much of this year, but I don't know. I'm tempted to see if we could get if we could get something like that going. Can we please get the ball? Hello? It like, didn't skip the animation at all. I'm kind of confused. Get in the post. Oh, yeah, Ewing, give me a post fade. Patrick Ewing, post fade. Ah, and he missed. Okay. Well, I probably kind of expected that. I'll be fair, but give me another post spin. Get down there. Get down there on him, Ewing. Goodness gracious, you can't post spin Ray for Austin. I just, I don't know about that. And he's boxed. That's tough. I just, I don't know. Ewing is just not the type of center who I would use. I don't feel like I would have an effective, a much effective success with this Ewing card. Good board, Patrick. Push it. He's going to be a great rebounder. That's one thing I will say. He's going to be really good on the interior defensively. He's going to be a great rebounder, all that stuff. The problem is, can, what can he give you in terms of like the perimeter, both defensively and offensively? And I just don't know. Good roll there. Throws down a nice dunk. He's got 11 points and three assists. He's played pretty well this game. Uh, it's just, I don't think a game like this really gives you a true, a true answer as to how good the card is really going to be. Good board, Giannis. Throw it up to to clay throw it back over to ewing stop wide open pop for three and he misses another white gotta green those without sniper you're not gonna be able to knock him down good defense ewing rub the floor get the board throw it ahead to the big man yes sir big man running in transition go up and dunk it again i like his dunks i'll say that he does dunk the ball a lot which is nice to see is our opponent gonna quit good board ewing push it let's get one more bucket with you push the floor oh yeah crossover look at the slowest crossover in the world dot corner look at patrick ewing the playmaker getting us an assist we'll take it you know what he's gonna finish this game with like 15 points four rebounds and assist that's not bad to be honest uh just i don't feel like this opponent is going to give you a fair picture in terms of like what the card is going to do against a really good player that's just not something you're going to get out of this game uh, out of this gameplay just because of because of the quality of opponent that I played against, basically. That being said, Ewing did have 15 points, five rebounds, and assist, two turnovers, seven of ten, one to three from three. Uh, I think he's decent. I don't think he's great. He's great on the in he's really solid on the interior, but I don't think he's going to give you enough on the perimeter on either end of the court or athletically to be able to use his card at a high level. That being said, let's hop back into the main menu and review the card. All right. In conclusion, Patrick Ewing, he's one of the best centers of all time in real life, but just in 2K, he's just not that type of card. Like he's okay, but he's not great. He'll be really good on the interior. And if you like to work out in the post, he might be the type of center for you, but his ability to pick and pop is not going to be there. His defensive versatility is not going to be super great. He's not going to be terrible on the defensive end of the court and on the interior, he will be really good. Like I said, but I just don't think he's quite athletic enough. His release isn't fast enough. He's not going to be enough of a playmaker to be able to use, uh, to be able to be used, I think at a high level. But uh, that being said, did enjoy using Patrick Ewing and I do kind of wish that uh, 2k would do a better job of giving us a Ewing card that was more usable and more effective earlier in the year because I feel like he's never really one of those guys who is really a good card in 2k but um that being said I hope you did enjoy this video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a leave a comment and subscribe and I'll be back with more 2k content very very soon
I appreciate y'all. Peace.